China's first amphibious assault ship, Type 075, christened the Hainan, has reached initial operating capability, and is expected to play a vital role in operations on the island of Taiwan. After achieving full operating capability in about a year, the ship will embark on a world tour to provide an outstanding image of the Chinese People's Liberation Army PLA, Navy. The Hainan entered service with the PLA Navy on April 23, 2021 as China's first amphibious assault ship. The vessel can carry a number of helicopters in addition to amphibious armored vehicles and tanks, and launch both horizontal and vertical landing missions on islands and reefs, and even land from the sea. The Type 075 is expected to play vital roles in possible operations on the island of Taiwan, as well as islands and reefs in the South China Sea. China competes with the US and several countries in the Asia-Pacific over the status of islands in the South China Sea. Type 075 is a large-scale amphibious assault ship of the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy. This ship is the largest amphibious warship of the People's Liberation Army Navy. It has a hangar and can carry nearly 30 helicopters of various types. It has a through deck and can take off and land multiple helicopters at the same time. There is a dock, which can be used as a mothership for amphibious vehicles, landing craft, and air cushion landing craft, and can transport soldiers, infantry fighting vehicles, tanks, etc. for landing operations. The Type 075 is China's all through deck amphibious assault ship. The demonstration work was initiated in 2011. The comprehensive development project was established around 2013. It was researched and designed by the 708 Research Institute of China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation. Previously almost all amphibious warships of the Chinese Navy were built by the design of the institute includes the 071 Integrated Landing Ship, the 072, 073, and 074 series of landing ships, and the 726 Air Cushion Landing Ship. After the 075 started its program demonstration in 2011, several revisions were made during the period. During this period, the headquarters and the Navy had different opinions. In 2016, the General Armed Forces Department recommended that the 075 adopt a non-through-deck superstructure, but the Chinese Navy insisted on connecting it. Offset deck superstructure, same as all through decks and offset islands of foreign amphibious assault ships, and finally adopted the Navy's opinion and put it into practice.